Hey guys, welcome to another speed build. In this speed build I am trying to recreate this crazy floor plan I found on Pinterest. Here you see me going from the top view. You can get to this in build mode, build mode and press T. So you see it from the top. That way I find it very easy to uh, duplicate a floor plan this way. Because it's, uh, it's the same perspective. You know, that, uh, just easy easier to copy uh, I'm making the deck here trying uh, approximately making the same shape as the floor plan has it isn't exact uh, mostly because in the sims you can't place things on half tiles and uh, you can only make certain angles not not all angles are allowed so I had to make a few concessions along the way. Here you see me working on the roof. It looks complicated, but it's actually pretty easy. Uh, it's just a bunch of squares put together and it covers the roof and it's, uh, it looks nice, I think. I use a lot of snowy escape stuff here. Uh, the roof and the, the walls are all snowy escape. This is the fireplace. I was having a lot of trouble with with the fireplace to fit. You see, it's still sticking a bit of roof out. I couldn't get it uh, get it off. But uh, just don't look too close. <laughs> it's, uh, everything is okay. Uh, also, the windows are from Snowy Escape. They really fit the build. Here, I, I saw I accidentally deleted the bathroom area, so I replaced it. I wanted to have a wooden floor and light wooden walls nice contrast here's the entryway you can hang your coat and place your shoes a bowl for your keys and a mirror to check your hair and here we have the half bathroom i really love those tiles they're also from snowy escape they make a nice pattern they also have one with uh, kittens on it i love that one even more but it's more for uh, children's bathroom and this will be the kitchen area. You see there is a really weird angle in this. And uh, that's uh, pretty hard to get a nice kitchen in there. I have two cabinets that clip together. You don't notice it much when you are when you're playing in this. I am sizing down some shelves just to make it uh, nice. And here a planter to separate the living room from the dining room. Uh, pretty small, oh, it's not the dining room, this is the, uh, the breakfast nook. Breakfast nook. I don't have a house this big, so <laughs> I don't have a breakfast nook. Here, the laundry area is nice and away from the rest of the house. And this is the formal sitting area with the fireplace against the chimney. and. I am using some couches from Get Together. These are my favorite couches. They come in so many swatches. And I thought it just looked really nice in this house. The house is a lot of brown and green. Not really uh, that colorful. But I just felt like a house like this. Oh, and now I'm working on the dining area. There is a little bit of a hallway behind it. Just to separate the living area from the be uh, bedrooms. In a weird house you want a bit of separation so you don't have the noise traveling between the, the spaces. In Sims doesn't really matter that much but for realism I, uh, I quite liked it. And this way I could put some decorations around the dining area. This will be the master bedroom. I am placing big doors towards this. And there are doors to the outside of the patio. My Sims can sit there and uh, barbecue. I try to separate the toilet from the rest, but because it's all on di diagonal tiles, it really didn't work. And there is a walk in closet. And it's just a really nice bedroom. And I l use a lot of uh, Snowy Escape in here. Uh, the bed is from Snowy Escape, so are the tables and I am placing a desk from Snowy Escape here. Uh, you, her sims can, uh, can work and use the computer. You need the computer for so many things in the sims. So 
it's just nice to have at least one computer in your your household i found this really weird light from snowy escape and there was this empty corner so i just placed a statue of a man in a top hat that rock is from city living sized up it's really nice and fluffy it looks uh, looks nice this is the kids bedroom i know it looks really small space between the uh, dresser and the bed but you simply can walk there i had my same you test it you'll see him later in the screenshots modeling this place like always he really loves to be a model he, li he basically lives for it you know oh here i use the getting kitty bed backsplash i just love it so much it's so cute it, this is the kids be bathroom and on the other side I will make a teen bedroom with a double bed, also from Snowy Escape. Uh, the furniture is a bit muted, a bit brown, but I am placing some nice posters and a bit of uh, colorful decoration around the room just to make it more uh, kid friendly. I am imagining the parents decorated this room and the teen just uh, put some of their stuff in there. Like you saw, a, a baseball and a baseball a soccer ball. And this is the family room. I don't know what is the, what the difference is between a family room and a living room, but okay. I just placed the TV here and the fireplace in the other end. I'm working on some landscaping here, just making it pretty. I cut most of it out because it was pretty boring, just some flowers and stuff. And here the outside sitting area, also no snowy escape bench, some planter pots and I put some flowers in there. Those leaves on the wall are from Eco Lifestyle, I really like them outside in space. Now I'm going to do some finishing touches on the build, just placing some decorations here and there, some more landscaping. Of course you can never have too much, but landscaping really put pulls the build together. Here we're going to the screenshots and you see you modeling off the house. He really seems to enjoy his job, don't you think? Just leaning against the counter, making up his own poses, itching his nose, enjoying the fire and just being his happy sassy self. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. It helped me out so much and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye!